next guest is a Canadian magician and illusionist who's won the Grand Prix World Championship of Magic. Now he's uncovering a centuries old mystery hidden in a deck of playing cards in the new documentary, Lost in the Shuffle. I go by the title of two time world champion of magic. Fool us once, shame on you. Fool us twice, shame on us. I've held the deck of cards in my head pretty much my entire life, but it was only recently that I actually started looking at the designs. The symbols aren't random. They're just loaded with so many little clues. What would you say if I told you, I think, hidden in the art of a standard deck of playing cards are the clues to a 500-year-old cold case murder mystery? It's just, wow. I think it's great. Wow, <laughs> you've got my attention. I need to go and learn more about the design and history of playing cards. That's awesome. Wow. What a tantalizing trailer for a film. I am like, what? Murder, mystery, and magic. Oh my gosh. But okay. the best three M's I've ever heard. It is. Yes. It uh, freaks me out. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> oh, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I noticed you freaked out when I spit him in the movie, so I thought I I'd do it for you there. Oh, that was a thrill. Sorry. We're already off to a great start, <laughs> Sean. Sean is my new best friend, everybody. Yay. All right, Sean, you've been doing magic uh, with cards in particular since you were a little boy. Yeah. What, what that first kind of sparked your interest in the history of the King of Hearts? Well, the, the king itself is an interesting, he's called the Suicide King. And then, oh. I, I, it's just a joke, because he has a sword running through his head. Mm -hmm. But I noticed something unusual about it. Well, first Wait, I noticed do the all queen. of them have that? Only the, every deck of cards in the world has this King of Hearts with a sword running through his what? head. And the Queen of Spades is facing the wrong direction from all the others. <gasps> and there are a, a whack of anomalies in the deck of cards. Nobody even knows who designed the playing cards in the very first place. Oh. Nobody owns the copyrights to them, but hidden in it are all the mysteries that made this movie. Oh my gosh, that is fascinating. Now, in this documentary, you talk to and interview so many different magicians and historians. Was there anything that really surprised you in, your, in the process? You know, the one thing, I've held the deck of cards in my hand all my life and never realized all those things. Yeah. I just slowly found them. And I thought other ones would. But I talked to magicians from England and France, Spain, Germany, even in Texas, and every one of them was like, really? I'd never seen it. How can it be possible that you play with a tool your entire life and never see it? Yeah. And yet all of them had that same reaction. Wow, that was, is amazing. Uh, yeah, that the art itself, because you know, in the world of magic, that art is that kind of a, the, the culmination of everything to bring it together. Yeah, it really is. Oh my gosh. Well, Sean, I'm really excited because I love magic, like so much. Me too. Um, so I'm you're addicted. I'm I, down to two packs a day. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna show me uh, a trick or two, all right? I will. Okay. In fact, with a deck of cards that, that uh, has the weirdest art. Okay. Uh, these are called factory blanks. Factory blanks. Uh, okay. They're, they're crazy. They're, uh, look at these. Is that the weirdest card you've ever seen? That's a really weird card. They are. Look, as I run through them, just say stop wherever you'd like to. Stop. Right there. Take okay. a look at this card and remember it. Got it? Yes. <laughs> Put the card back anywhere you'd like to. Perfect. This is the cool part. If I snap my fingers, the card jumps to the top. See? I got it right. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> that would be good, right? That would be really good. But you're thinking of a card, right? Yes. That's good. Um, I have a brother. My brother is an artist. Okay. I was going to say was an artist, but he's still alive. Okay, he just, there you go. He just moved to, P <laughs> he just moved to PEI, so oh. it's similar. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him to draw a picture for me, something that would be magical. Okay. I was coming on here, something cool, and he drew your card. Wouldn't that be crazy? That would be. For the first time, what is the name of the card you're thinking of? It was Six of Spades. Ha ha, see, inside the box, <laughs> it's Six of Spades. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm into it. Oh, my brother's not just an artist, he's an animator. Okay. You know, it's, uh, hold on. Yeah, I like this. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, oh this my looks gosh. better if I just do it like this. Oh. Oh. That was so fun! Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Well, he drew it. It's a piece of paper. It's just the way. That's how art works. Yeah. Oh, so you were blowing my mind in many ways today, Sean. That was an absolute thrill, let me tell you. Thanks. Sean, thank you so, so much for joining us well, today. Thanks for coming. I appreciate you having us here. Oh, my gosh. What a delight. Well, don't forget to check out Lost in the Shuffle, available anywhere you get your movies. Thank you so, so much. Awesome. What a delight. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.